Howdy, Pies and Patty here, and I have four new eight-pack Crayola crayon sets. In the last video, I compared the bold and bright to the neons. I will link that video below, and today I am going to test out the totally trucking, never saw this anywhere, <laughs> the Collector's Colors Limited Edition. These colors were retired in 1990, which is 32 years ago. <laughs> 32 years ago. And the Colors of Kindness. Now, these do come in bigger packs. I've seen the bigger packs, but I was looking for the 8-pack because I have this thing about collecting the little 8-packs of crayons. And I will link below my review of the ones that I've already done. I have the pastels, I have the metallic, I have the glitter, I have the uni crayons, I have the cosmic crayons, and I have the pearl crayons. Now I reviewed all of these eight packs already, so I will link that below. In the last video, I did review these two. So today it will be these three. And if you know of any other eight packs of crayons that are available anywhere, please comment below so I can go and check them out. So let's go over to the table and see the colors in these packs. In my last video, I compared the neon crayons to the bold and bright construction paper crayons. And yes, they are so much better on dark paper than the neons. So if you're looking for a construction paper crayon, you definitely want to go with this one. Even though the neon on the back says bold and bright, this is a special formula to show up on the paper. Now, I didn't use construction paper. I used sort of like a smooth cardstock but I still got some color. And I may come back and do another review of these on actual construction paper, so stay tuned for that. But today, in this video, I am doing these three packs. Okay, I've already reviewed the pastels, the pearls, the metallics, the glitter, the uni crayons, the cosmic crayons and the neon crayons and I can link that video below. So now I have these three sets to do and the colors of kindness. I was been looking for this eight pack since last year at some point. I have seen larger packs but I haven't found this eight pack until this year. So the first thing I have to do is to Write down all the colors, colors of kindness. And it says here that there are four new colors. Four new colors they are introducing. And they are Hello Sunshine, Peace of Mind, A Warm Hug, and Sky's the Limit. So want to start with the new ones? We'll start with the old ones. So let's go with Go With The Flow. I have to write down these names. So you want to give me a moment to write these down and I will do that. Okay, I have my names down. So we're gonna go with Go With The, we're gonna go with Go With The Flow. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Kind of looks like, I don't know, a salmon pink of some sort. Go with the flow. It's a little different from the other colors. I can't get it side by side though. 
I shouldn't have made these. Yeah, it is different. See, it's close to the carnation, but it is a little different. More like a salmon pink, I think. Pink, I think. Lucky to know you. That's probably the, one of the green ones. Yes, it is. Lucky to know you. Ooh, well, that's a pretty green. That is a nice green. That is a nice green. Huh. Nothing on the other side that looks like that. Life is Gouda. Now, if you give this to a two-year-old, are they going to know what Gouda is? Oh, I see. Life is Gouda. And if you turn it around, it says macaroni and cheese. Hmm. I didn't notice that on the other one, so let me backtrack. Okay, so lucky to know you is the shamrock. Lucky to know you is the shamrock green. Ooh, see, you, just, you have to explore these things. You have to research. Oh, my gosh, and look at this. Go with the flow is the salmon. So we have the salmon, the shamrock, and the mac and cheese. <laughs> All right, so Gouda is cheese. So instead of saying mac and cheese, life is Gouda, as in life is good. Yes, that does look like mac and cheese. And shamrocks are lucky. And salmons flow down the river, right? No, actually, they swim up, but then they flow down, I guess, when they're little. Okay, we're going with it. We're going with it. Nurture nature. So what could that be? Nurture nature. Looks like orchid. Hmm, let's see. Orchid. All right, Possum Patty, you are on a roll. Can you read it? There it is. Orchid. I have not looked at these ahead of time. I wanted to do it with you on camera. Nice, nice orchid. Okay, next one, Hello Sunshine. Should be like a yellow one, right? Mm hmm No, I don't have it. A warm hug looks like a gray crayon, so I don't know. Oatmeal. Hmm. A warm hug. Oatmeal. I'm skipping down here because... I have to look at those other ones, see what they are. Oatmeal. i tell you one thing, though. I cook my oatmeal every single morning. Yes, I do. <laughs> it does not look like that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It looks more like a warm hug than it does oatmeal, that's for sure. So I have no idea what this one is. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. So that's going to be this one. Peace of mind. And what does that look like? Mm, some kind of green. Of course. Captain Obvious. Fern green. Olive green. Something. Let's see. Cool mint. Cool mint. P oh, okay. Mint. Mint. Drink some mint tea to relax. Gives you peace of mind. Oh, I didn't talk about this one. Nurture nature. Oh, because it's the color of an orchid. Okay. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. It's a flower. Cool mint. Cool mint. I like it. I like it. Cool mint. And sky's the limit down here. I'm missing a crayon. I am missing a crayon. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Oh, here it is. Ah. Hello, sunshine. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Hello, sunshine. Looks like an orange yellow of some sort. Cray yellow. Crayello. Crayello. Never heard of it. Crayello. Hello, sunshine. There's a beautiful, bright, golden. 
ray of sunshine. All right, now we're going back down to sky's the limit. As you can see, I am not a professional tester of crayons. <laughs> I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I'm learning this with you, aren't I? Yes, I am. So the new colors, let's review a little bit. All right, so go with the flow was the salmon. So they took salmon and renamed it Go With The Flow. Life is Gouda is this one. And it was the mac and cheese and they just called it Life is Gouda. Lucky to know you was the shamrock. Oh, that's the wrong one. Lucky to know you was the shamrock and they just renamed it Lucky to Know You. Nurture Nature was the orchid, and they renamed it Nurture Nature. So Hello Sunshine, or Crayella. Crayella? Crayello. Crayello Crayella is a new color. Hello Sunshine, and it is, so it has Hello Sunshine and... Crayella. So they're saying this is a new color. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Which is the minty one. So they're saying the cool mint is a new color. Cool mint. Peace of mind is a new color. A warm hug, which to me looks gray, but they're calling it oatmeal. I think if oatmeal was that color, I wouldn't eat it, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Um, and sky's the limit, powder blue. They're saying, and it is a nice powder blue too. Let me hold that up a little better. Oops. Okay, so we got a powder blue, a gray, a nice minty green, a sunshine yellow, orchid, mac and cheese, shamrock, and salmon. All right, so now I'm going to write down the names of the collector's color. Okay, now the collector's colors, eight pack, limited edition. These were all retired in 1990. They got the old-fashioned paper labels on them. And I need to write the names down. I have my cat in my lap right now, but I'll try and get it done. Maybe if I go at a side, side angle here. Okay, we'll start with the orange-yellow. Well, let's start with the bright yellow. Lem oh, lemon yellow. Hmm. Oh, no, that's laser lemon which I guess is different than lemon yellow. Sorry, but I have to move my cat. Lemon yellow. And then we'll go with orange yellow. And then we're going to go with this tannish one, which is maize which means corn. And then we're going to go with this orangey one, orange red. Some people collect crayons. And they have all the colors, all the old-fashioned raw umber. All the sets and all the colors from all the years. And they go crazy collecting the old, old ones. Green blue. I look for them at tag sales and flea markets and stuff like that. Cause the flea market, they have um, the people come. They you know clean out estates and then they sell the stuff. So you might find some older stuff. Blue gray. Blue gray. But I don't go crazy looking for them. When I find them, I pick them up. Violet blue. So I don't really hunt them down. Well, I did, <laughs> I did hunt this one down because I knew 
it was around and I just couldn't find it. I mean, I didn't make special trips. I just, you know, when I went into a store, I'd look for it. All right, so I'm going to do the lemon yellow, which is a very light yellow, very pretty, pale yellow. Got some orange on there, I guess. And then the orange yellow, which is darker. Still very nice. And then the maize, which is the color of a corn stalk. So let me bring this up and show you these three yellows. Lemon yellow, orange yellow, and maize. Okay, we'll do the orange red. Which is kind of like that, but you can see it is a little bit more orangey. Different from the salmon. And then raw umber. Which is like a gray brownish kind of color. And let's see, green blue. Green blue. Green blue. Ooh. There we go. That is pretty. Look at that green blue. I think they used to have green blue and blue green. Does anybody remember that? Green blue and blue green. Blue gray. The cat is back. I'm trying to do this with a cat. Green, blue, and blue, gray. These are very pretty colors. I don't know why they discontinued them. And I'll show you in a moment, but this is the violet blue. Just, ooh. And this is very nice, too. Look at that. I don't know. I think maybe they retire some colors, but then they bring them back with new modern names, right? So we have the light yellow, the orange yellow, the maize, which is very pretty. The orange red, the raw umber, which is a nice color for nature journaling. Green blue, blue gray, and violet blue. Very nice, very nice. Okay, now I'm gonna put these away. These are the collectors. And I don't know a lot about Crayola history <laughs> or crayon history. Crayola, I know they've been around for a very long, long time. And I should take a trip to Crayola factory. Of course, I lived in Pennsylvania for 22 years and never went to the Crayola factory. Past Eastern Pennsylvania a bazillion times and never went there. Hmm. Now that I don't live there anymore, I'll have to go back and visit. Okay, this totally trucking. I have to research pick your pack. Pick your pack. Eight assorted colors. Color coordinated to take your imagination on an adventure. Collect your favorite themes into a cool designer box and let creativity run wild. So this has a designer box. I guess they're talking about... Um, like the Cosmic Crayons and the, the Uni Crayons. See the Uni Crayons. Everything's a unicorn. The Cosmic. They're kind of dinosaurs, but they're out in space. <laughs> Which is weird. Okay. So totally trucking. So I wonder what the names of these colors are. Again, I have not looked in there to see what they are. I bought this box used, but they don't look too used. So first we're gonna write down the names. We're gonna start with Goldenrod. Ooh, what does Goldenrod have to do with trucking? Hmm, Goldenrod. I'm drawing Goldenrod flowers now, let's see. Um, 
There's not really an orange or a red, is there? Okay, this is metallic. It has a different paper on it. Alloy, alloy orange. Alloy orange. And I don't even know what these are. Oh, metallic. You know what? Let me look back here. Metallic alloy orange. Look at that. So some of these are going to be... I'm sorry, I got junk on the table here. The same as the metallics. Big Dip O Ruby. Hmm. Big Dip. Oh, ruby. Big dip or oh, ruby. So I guess that's going to be some kind of red. And let's go with this one. Inchworm. Hmm. Inch. <laughs> Inchworm. What does that have to do with totally trucking? I, I don't know. Somebody must have picked out these colors. I don't think inchworm I have it on anything else. Not in those packs that I have so far. Hmm. Sonic Silver. Now this is pick your own color. So I'm wondering if somebody picked these colors to put in this box. I'm going to have to research this. I'm sorry, I am not the Crayola expert. I am... Just learning about Crayola. I'm laughing at the name. This is Beaver. Beaver. Which I guess is some kind of pretty brown. So the Beaver and the um, Goldenrod and the Inchworm, those are all like nature colors. <laughs> and three metallics and three nature colors. And I got two more left here. And this one says black. And this one says brown. <laughs> so what's the difference between brown and beaver? We shall see if I get these in the right place. Okay. So this is our last pack. Totally trucking. Pick your own colors. And I will come back and do some research on this, I guess. Okay, so we're going to start with the goldenrod. Which is a really nice fall flower color. The goldenrod just happened to be in bloom right now. Different than the orange yellow, different than the yellow, different than the lemon yellow. Alloy orange. Alloy. Alloy orange. So this is going to be the same as in the metallic pack, because that's what it is. Big Dip O Ruby will be the same as in the metallic pack. They had Big Dip O Ruby over here. Let's see. Yes, I did. Big Dipper Ruby. Inchworm, which I couldn't find anywhere, but looks like yellow-green to me. This is the color of those little inchworms that you see in the spring. Very pretty. Sonic Silver. I'll bring it up closer in a second and show you. Sonic Silver. Beaver, which is brown. I'm trying to work around this cat here. Brown. And black. I'm assuming black is just regular black. like in the other packs. Let 
inchworm. I like this inchworm. Big dip of ruby. I'm trying to get it to look metallic. <laughs> mm. Mm. Silver looks like it's got... Make sure I got the right crayon here. Some sparkly stuff in it. Beaver's kind of a grayish brown. Of course, brown and black are your regular brown and black. Now let me show you those up closer. So I got the cat here. Okay, so we have goldenrod. Very pretty. Alloy orange. Alloy orange. Oh, if I hold it a certain way in the light, I could see just a little bit of sparkle in there. Just a little tiny bit of sparkle. Here, I made it a little darker. Yeah, a little tiny bit of sparkle in there. The red, a little tiny bit of sparkle. Of course, inchworms don't sparkle. Sonic Silver's got a little bit of sparkle. Not beaver, not brown, not black. Okay, there is my new Crayola 8-pack chart for my new crayons. Where's the thing? Okay, um, before I say goodbye, I'm going to go research this Pick Your Color Packs <laughs> and see what that's all about because I don't know anything about Pick Your Color Packs. So I will be right, 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 right back. Well, thanks for coming along during this new mini series on my four sets of eight pack crayons that I tested. And I did just do a little research. Maybe I should have done this before I filmed this video. <laughs> but, you know, I like to discover things as I go along. And as I was doing all my <laughs> swatches, okay and learning about the colors and learning about the packs i had a lot of fun so i hope you enjoyed learning along with me and i did discover that um this one <laughs> okay this is the later series of crayola crayon packs that were sold at target the earlier ones over here, it says only at Target, and the later ones say pick your pack. But these are the colors that come in the set. I hope it's used, so I don't know. And <laughs> there are a hundred of them. A <laughs> hundred of them, I bet. Uh, yeah, I did some research, and people who are collecting them, and I found some pictures on eBay, and what I'm going to do at the end of this video is just put a little slideshow in for your amusement of some of the really fun packs that they had of these eight pack crayons. Now I wish I had known this back in 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15 because I would have collected them then when they were probably a dollar and a quarter whatever they were back then. Um, you can find some now and then on eBay and they're going for like three, four dollars a pack, whatever, plus shipping. But they're very cool. So, yeah, maybe I'll order a pack or two. I don't know. Um, it's probably not worth the price, but if I come across them anywhere, that just fell on the floor. If I come across them anywhere for you know a decent price like this was 50 cents or something at a yard sale i will pick them up well that was a lot of fun and until i get more crayons or maybe a pack of construction paper to try the to try these out again <laughs> um that's it on crayons for now with my pesty cat come on <laughs> Alrighty, thanks for coming along today. <laughs> She's back. Bye-bye. <laughs>